Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 14 off the 2018 release star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem yourself, and then unpause it. We will check our answers together. So we have a word problem here and no answers to choose from. This is what we call a gridable item because they want you to fill in the bubbles in your answer document. So we will look at that in a moment. The real problem is right up here and it's just a few simple sentences. There are 297 peach trees on a farm and there are 615 peach trees on a different farm. What is the difference between the numbers of peach trees on these farms. So they're not going to tell us add or subtract. They're simply going to use that word difference. So let's make sure we understand two keywords here. So sum is an answer to an addition problem. It's going to put a plus, an addition problem. And so difference, in case you're not sure, is going to be the answer to a subtraction problem. So they're asking us to subtract without using the word subtract. So answer to an addition problem, answer to a subtraction problem. So we need to subtract these two numbers and we better do it right because we don't have any way to check to see whether our work is correct if the answer is one of the four options. We have to bubble in our answer on its own. So we're going to put our largest number on top, 615. We're going to subtract from that 297. This is the standard algorithm, which means we start over in the ones place and we just move our way to the left. 5 minus 7, you cannot take 7 from 5 because 5 is a smaller number. And so we're going to borrow a 10. That's going to leave 0 10s. And I'm going to break up that 10 into 10 ones. So now instead of 5 ones, I've got 15 ones. Because 10 and 5 is 15. And now I can do 18 minus 7. That is 8. 0 minus 9. I know you might be tempted to think it's 9, but it's not. You cannot take 9 from nothing, so we need to go to these hundreds places. Take 100, which leaves 5. We're going to break up that 100 into 10 tens. So now instead of 0 tens, I've got 10 tens. 10 tens minus 9 tens is 1, and 5 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 3 hundreds. So I think my number is 318, but this is how we double check. Make sure we did all our work correctly. We take our problem and we flip it upside down and we change it to an addition problem. So I'm going to take these two numbers and I'm going to add them. 318 plus 297, and I should get that 615. So let's see if it works. So that's 15, and that's 2, that's 11, and that's 4, and that's 6. So I did do it correctly. The answer is going to be this 318. So we have our answer, 318, but how do we display it? Well, on the third grade answer document, you're going to get a bubble grid that looks like this. It's going to have four columns, but this first column is not going to really have anything. It's going to have just a decimal. And it's going to look like this. And it's going to have a whole bunch of numbers. It's going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way down for each of these spots here. And this is the 100 spot, this is the 10 spot, this is the 1 spot, but these are not labeled. So you need to know that you can write 318, so you need to write it up here. But the key is, is you need to bubble them in correctly. So there's the 3, so we're going to bubble that in. There's the 1, we're going to bubble that in. And the 8 would be down here, so we're going to bubble that in. Once you bubble it in correctly, that's going to show you your answer of 318. This last column right here with the decimal, there's going to be nothing in there. That just shows you that you're not going to really write past that in third grade. In the fourth grade, you learn that there are decimals, the tenths and the hundredths. Right now, this is just going to remain a blank column. 